Hello and welcome back to Career Mode. This is episode number 25. Once again, we are back with four games to QA today, three games played, one game simmed, as you saw in the last episode. Now, I'm. If, if I can actually upload like a normal human being, this is on a Thursday because I now want to get FIFA out on Tuesday and Thursday. The series that I originally had planned for Thursday back in like February totally fell through. I couldn't get it going and it just didn't seem like a series that would work out. So instead I'm going to upload uh, uh, career mode on Tuesday and Thursdays and well leave the Saturday slot free for just basically nothing really. Nevertheless we are here today to take on Sunderland. Uh, in well, the Premier League, of course. Now, while we were team. away, um, I'm going to actually have to quickly talk over this. I can't remember if this is a goal or anything, but it gets crossed in. Oh, yeah, this is one of the best goals I've seen from a header. What the hell was that by Jordan Lukaku? Good cross in by Cabano. Finds Jordan Lukaku on the edge of the box, who headers it over the goalkeeper from that far out. That was incredible, to say the least. Um, anyway, as I'm going to quickly say while the replay goes on, uh, we did get the Scout Future Star going. I am unable to show his stats right now. Uh, I will probably do so in not the episode that you're going to see on Tuesday, but rather the episode that you're going to see next Thursday, because I believe in the episode that I showed on Thursday, I forgot to show his stats. Nevertheless, that is a really good head, a nice dip as well. Um, so there we go. I'll try and show that if I can. Anyway, Nato here. I believe it's Nato or Nato. I don't know. Nato just seems more appropriate. Nato anyway with the ball. He runs through all these players. Look at this run by him. He gets all the way through. Takes a shot. Really good save. Amazing goal line clearance there by the Sunderland player. Which, as you're going to see on the goal line difference decision system thing, is no goal. I believe a little bit of the ball crossed the line, but obviously not all of it did. Here we go now. 77th minute. Sunderland have, an, have the ball here. Uh, well, they have a goal kick. It comes back to us. Nato again with another great run, as you saw at the start of the episode. Changed the formation up to a 4-5-1, and it's playing off well. Loftus Cheek with a really good shot, and he takes another shot. No, I believe that was Woodrow who took that shot. The header hits the bar, and then, as you're about to see, as they just pass it around the back, you can see Nato steals the ball there, but the game gets the play gets called back. There's the new 4-5-1, we're playing a little bit more of an attacking formation because I feel as if not enough are going forward. Loftus Cheek, who kind of just got subbed on, had to be taken off for that. A diving shoulder tackle. Road Warrior Hawk appeared out of nowhere and took out Loftus Cheek, uh, which was rather unfortunate. Um, uh, yes, his injury, I believe he was out for two months. Nevertheless, 90th minute, Sunderland have a corner here. It's crossed in. Stekela Burke clears out. The ball falls. I believe to Pickford in the 90th minute. They get it in the back of the net. That's probably not Pickford, but you know. In the 90th minute, as jammy as it could be, scripting at its finest, they score the equalizing goal. I believe that gets headed out. Dodgy touch the, I think that was by Pasalic, but um, yeah, they were able to score. And I should have beat one replay, because in my rage, I kind of forgot to let the, that play out and to let the replay show. Nevertheless, one will draw. They're real disappointed. I thought we could have had that game one. Next up was Everton. I decided to sim this game because, in a way, I didn't see us winning it. So I decided maybe I can just throw this away and let the AI play this out. But as you can see right now, it's one all. Very competitive between us there. I, but I imagine it could be a shit game for all I know. But, um... Uh, just weighing on some in there. Nevertheless, the January transfer window is going to come up soon. Nah, last time, I believe in August, I asked you guys to give me the suggestions for people you want to sign. This one I didn't because I just kind of recorded January in bulk. And I believe I'm already some point in February, so... Sorry about that, guys, but uh, there wasn't much, we didn't have much money left to spend. Anyway, we could have brought in one player, and I decided the, play, the tactical decision was to bring in a right-back. Because, as you're going to see, the left-back that we loaned in, who was playing right-back, I only got him on a short loan, so he went back at the start of the January transfer window. Nevertheless, we won that game 2-1, and now we're going into the FA Cup to take on Newcastle United at St. James's Park. Um... As you can see, a lot of people have started to play our old formation now. And I say our starting, they've been playing it for the entirety of time. But uh, there is the team that they've got. As you can see, our team is looking pretty competitive. It is a team that could certainly get the win, especially the left and the right as well. Perhaps our, one of our strongest teams for this FA Cup is, of course, Daily Blind at centre-back as always. Nevertheless, uh, somewhat early on here into the first half, about halfway through, Ayanjo gets a run. Good shot! But it's a good save there by the keeper, and that's definitely not Tim Krul. 
We get a corner here now. Lanzini with a good cross in. Kasaklic is on the is on the near the penalty spot. Unfortunately, his header goes just a little wide. Then we fast forward all the way to the 70th minute. Slow game, a lot of midfield action, counter attacks that fell through, that sort of stuff. Richards here, the right back, makes a good run. He's still going on through, and he gets tackled there, and Richards would end up getting injured. Ahianajo takes a shot. It's saved again by the keeper, but Richards would get injured, I believe, for only something like two weeks. So it wasn't that bad, because um, we, of course, do have a backup right back as well. And um, we do have uh, the right back that we're going to try and bring in as well. Nevertheless, there's another header. Kasai glitches there again, and once again, it is just wide. Now then, 82nd minute. Newcastle steal the ball here. Cabela's on the attack. That's the big question I want to ask this episode. What you just saw there as Richards gets subbed off for his injury. What that tackle you just saw, go back and replay it. Was it a foul? Was that free kick was that free kick worthy? Because to me it just looked like we got the run a little wrong. Collided into him, but there was no malice into it. There was no attack whatsoever. It just sort of ran into him. There was no collision between the two. The ball had kind of already gone past him. So I'm wondering, was that a free kick or not? Let me get, let me know in the comments below. Because I say this because I'm about to get really salty when Pape Cisse comes on and scores a lovely chip header. That is why I'm a salty bastard towards that free kick. I don't know, it probably was a free kick, but I would rather a fair opinion rather than my biased and shit opinion because now we're 1-0 down in the 81st minute. Late goal again to screw us over again. towards the end of the game. Nice head. Uh, gets over Daily Burn and Stekelenburg is just caught completely off his line there. That is as far up as you can go. Fair play. He did get it. He did get it good. And, well, we're out of the FA Cup. Uh, yeah, Newcastle knocked us out of the FA Cup there. I believe that was the round of 16. And once again, in my rage, I decided I'm not going to show this because I got incredibly pissed off. Nevertheless, I just proved myself wrong from earlier in the episode. There is our scout future star, Josh Liebert, a centre forward, which could be interesting to try and play as a cam or maybe even as another striker. So there you have it. That is kind of what we did there. And you can see uh, the one for the future there, Martin Odegaard. I usually pay absolutely no attention to the one for the future because they usually end up being a flop. I need to get into like your sixth season of career mode in order for them to be good. And I'm not going to do that, but I realised we need cams. The formation we're playing, you need a lot of cams for. You need a lot of midfielders for. So I decided, why not go for Odegaard as a backup cam that we can play, you know, to start off games, maybe to rest Cabano, Lanzini, those kind of guys. This was the right back I was looking to sign. John Flanagan from Liverpool. Why did I go with him? Because he's simple, he's reliable, and I don't have to spend too much money on him. It's as simple as that. Odegaard, anyway, came to us at Fulham. Of course, Real Madrid were going to accept it. They had no intentions of using him with the team they've got. Decided to go as well with trying to sign John Flanagan. Hopefully, that will be a success. Unfortunately, I cannot show you in this episode because uh, by the time I stopped recording this episode, naturally, they hadn't come back with the um, acceptance of the offer for John Flanagan. But Odegaard was in the starting lineup for this one. If memory serves me correct, I think it was either Cabano or Lanzini. You're going to see the starting lineup anyway. But uh, uh, look at that. We're in third. We are in third. Uh, uh, we have played relatively shit this season. But we're in third. I don't get it. Not once during the season, I think, we're in third. Because we're not. Why are we in third? I don't know. It confused the shit out of me when I saw it. But apparently, we're in third place. So, there you go. Oh, there we go. I played Odegaard and Williams. Weird enough. Uh, uh, to Cam, considering Williams is a left mid. Oh, yeah. Both guys were probably knackered from the Newcastle game. Anyway, there we go. Swansea were quite far down the table. I think they might have been in 12th, which actually isn't that far. Never mind, they're going to get a nice attack going here. And explain to me, Kyle Norton, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Easy goal to score. Passes it around a little bit more. And their striker hits it wide. To me, that was really stupid. And I think that honestly cost them. I, uh, Paciencia there with a great kick. Great volley. Good save. And then the follow-up volley by Williams is also incredibly close. Now we're in the 83rd minute. Anything goes here. It is so incredibly close between both of us. It's going back and forth. Good save there by Stekelenburg from that, vo from that uh, somewhat long shot. And now we're able to try and get on the counter-attack. Dying moment. Can we have another late goal? But this one is going to be in our favor for a change. Edmondson Jr. there. Passes off. It's Nato. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Can he put it away? Yes, he can. 
87th minute. Nato with the goal to get us in the lead. And what a time to score it at as well, right towards the end of the game. And it is such a good run. I have no idea what the striker is. That's either Edmondson Jr. or Cabano. But it is a great run, and it would have been a penalty anyway because of the way he gets tackled just before he takes the shot. And it's just over the keeper's leg. Nato gets the goal and is able to celebrate the fact that he gets it. Woodrow got subbed on. I believe that was uh, who we subbed on for Odegaard. You can see he's playing, he's running with the ball right here, finds Pasalic, he's good, he's marked quite heavily, Paciencia, he's marked quite heavily, he breaks through all of them, in the 90th minute, that is a shot, in the 90th minute to seal the game fully, what better way to celebrate it than prancing like a gay bird, let's take a look at this again, Pasalic there, he passes off run one way, um, Paciencia runs back that way and gets it right in the side netting, there's absolutely the no way the keepers get into that. That is a, a lovely goal by Paciencia. Such a nice shot to see. And the moment kickoff happened, the whistle was blowing. So there we go. Two wins this episode, one draw and one loss. Six out of nine, uh, sorry, seven out of nine points in the Barclays Premier League. And unfortunately, we're knocked out of the FA Cup at seven out of nine. Not too bad at all, although we did have some easy teams as you can see Swansea were in 12th uh, Sunderland I believe are way down the table in like 19th and Everton right now are in 15th there you go Sunderland in 19th bad news for them but we are in third place it is very competitive from us to Manchester City just three points separating us but at the end of the day there's three po we're four points off the leaders we're four points off Arsenal this is incredible could we in our first season in the Prem get the Barclays Premier League? It's ambitious, I know, but you never know with this career mode. Anyway, that's going to end this episode of Career Mode. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, guys, and ta -ra.